What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Omido and today I want to break down a new indie rock beat that I made in FL Studio for you guys. I know I've made a couple videos like this already but Honestly, I'm always making beats like this and I always love making this type of content. So if you like these types of videos, please hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment, but let's dive into the beat and I'll show you how I made it. I'll play a little bit of the beat first so you guys can hear it. Um, a lot of the you know elements in this beat really play throughout the entirety of the song. Like the core elements of the beat, like the chords, some of the bass patterns and the drums and melodies, you know, depending on the, the verse or the hook, a lot of those elements kind of remain the same. Uh, it's just a matter in some places of me taking away some elements, sometimes I add different ones, sometimes I switch it up, but I'll play a little bit of the chorus so you can at least get an idea of how the overall beat sounds. Okay, so I'm, I want to start by talking about the drums. Uh, in a lot of these kind of indie pop type beats, I'm kind of even losing what type of genre to even call these ones, but I start with the drums first. And in a lot of my other beats, I don't start with the drums first, but in these specific beats, I kind of do start with the drums first, just because the drums are so important. And I have this one drum sound that sounds like a bit of a retro drum machine. Uh, if you guys ever do like a YouTube search on this thing called a Lindrum, uh, it basically has sounds that Kind of sound like a Michael Jackson, Billie Jean type of drum. I bet you that was even like what they used on the song. But anyways, this was the drum pattern that I came up with. It's really simple. Just the kicks, the snares, a little bit of like clap type of fills. But basically, this is just the, the drum pattern that I came up with. It's really simple, has a good vibe to it, just kind of keeps the groove going. Uh, and then I came up with some synth chords that sound like this, and I use Diva VST, so I got like a, a really good kind of retro analog sound for the chords. Just something simple, four chords is really all you need with a lot of the beats that you're making. Uh, and then I also, this is gonna be quick to talk about, but the bass line, uh, I just played the bottom end of the chords, just a really simple, deep sounding bass. That bass is super simple. I actually made the bass sound myself in 3X Oscillator, which is a default uh, VST in FL Studio. It's super easy to make a good bass sound like that. All you need to do is load it up, uh, mute the second and third channels. You'll get a basic sine wave and then just pitch it down. That's how I make a lot of my like really deep bass sounds. It's just such an easy VST to make that. It's basically just a, a really low sine wave. It's like you can't get any simpler than that, but it really works to fill out the bottom end of that beat. Those three things together, the bass, the synth chords, and the drums, really simple. Everything together sounds like this. Again, it's got a good groove going. I was really, really happy when I made those three things. But now I needed to get kind of a little bit more creative since, yeah, those elements are a bit simple. So I loaded up Arcade and I actually found this, uh, I don't even know which one this is, let me see. So yeah, so when I made this beat, they came up with this new uh, preset bank, I guess, called M Memento. And uh, it has some really good, like, I don't know, kind of sampled type of uh, recordings. So I just, really, I just hit a bunch of random notes on my keyboard and I came up with this little kind of sampled loop that plays over top like the chords and everything. Again, I really love doing that. It's a technique that um, I use a lot. I also like hear it a lot in like the 1975 type songs, uh, especially on their you know most recent album notes on a conditional form. I hear that technique being used a lot and it just adds a lot of like, I don't know, ear candy, some other elements that really make your beats stand out, right? Playing, you know, it over top of synth chords, it sounds like this. Like we went from a really simple chord progression to a little bit more like kind of texture, something that takes it to the 
this really big next level. Uh, and then I also wanted some electric guitar sounds just to capture the vibe of like the indie rock style, you know, where you always have the electric guitars in it. So I found another preset bank in Arcade and uh, it had a bunch of guitar samples. I heard that one that I really liked uh, and I just came up with this really simple pattern. It's honestly just playing that little guitar loop and then doing some kind of repeating uh, technique at the end of it. It goes really good with the bass and the chords and that piano kind of texture loop that I came up with. So I came up with these uh, vocal chops in a contact library called Exhale. It's by the same company that makes Arcade. It's kind of like the, the prequel to Arcade, right, with their vocal chops, but just a really simple vocal chop pattern. Again, it just kind of sits in the background, but it fills out the beat nicely. So when I actually made the beat, I have a lot of these, I guess, whatever, six type of things playing in certain parts like the intro and the verse, uh, but then in the hook, I wanted to take it to that next step and uh, bring some more elements to the table, make it stand out a bit. So I came up with this really simple synth melody uh, and it just sounds like this. Just something, another little thing, just to, you know, make it stand out a bit from the, the verse or the intro. So that's a really simple groove that I have, um, but then I wanted to kind of, you know, continue to play with it. I know when you're listening to it, it can be a little bit repetitive, so the second half of the hook, um, I took those same synth chords and came up with a string pattern that, again, it's just the same chords, but I just play these really cool sounding strings. Like it, it sounds, in my opinion, pretty authentic. And then the bass, you know, I had that really simple bass pattern. That's just like, you know, four long notes. Uh, I just cut up the bass a little bit and uh, kind of played some kind of groovy type of pattern with it. Again, it just kind of splits up the uh, the beat a little bit, so it's like you're listening to it and all of a sudden it kind of switches up some things, a bit of a different feel in the second half of this hook. Yeah, that's it like if you're looking at the song a lot of the stuff like especially these synth chords play throughout the entirety of the song same with the drums I kept it really simple with this one but sometimes like the simplicity is is all you need sometimes once you get that groove going you know that core foundation the drum the chords the bass a little melody that can be your beat there and then it's just a matter of kind of structuring it around but uh, I hope you guys like this beat breakdown I'll leave a link in the comments if you want to hear the full beat uh, it's on my YouTube channel so you guys can check it out and listen to it and then come back and, and watch how I made it again if you want or whatever you guys want to want. But I'll leave that link in the description. And uh, yeah, hit that like, subscribe button, do all that stuff you guys know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.